Good morning. Hello. How are you? Good. How about you? Doing all right. Yeah, I've had better hair times, but other than that, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so dry here. I got to figure out some sort of solution. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to change your, uh, right? your whole um, management. <laughs> All the management. I know I've been doing Epsom salt baths and like coconut oil and lots of that. So yeah, anyway, I remember was I was, I went to a conference at Yosemite and I grew up in LA. So, I mean, I grew up when it was dry, but I'd been out here for a long time. And then I went to a conference in Yosemite and I felt like the whole inside of my nose was oh. so dry. It was like an extra nose inside my nose. <laughs> it was the weirdest thing. And, and then I flew home got off the plane, got my bags, walked outside to wait for the little bus thing. Yeah. And my nose felt normal. Weird, right? It took that long. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know. I'm having that too. And I'm like, I feel like I need to steam my face, my whole <laughs> head. Like, <every> night. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Oh gosh. Uh, how was your week? It was good. Well, my dogs are ready for yoga. Oh, good. One. I'm so happy. And then there's the other. Oh, they're yeah. already in Shavasana. They're I know. I used to have to uh, lock them out of the bedroom. Yeah. And so then they would be, you know, on the other I know. side and, you know, whining and stuff. Um, and then sometimes I'd leave the gate open mm -hmm. and they would start wrestling in here <laughs> and bumping into me. So they've uh, actually just started out in Savasana. So we'll see if that continues. Uh, hopefully they might get a little bit active. Oh, you would love it up on the mountain with all the dogs. So there are, uh, I saw the most glorious Burmese mountain dog yesterday. Wow. So big. Like you usually see them and they're like medium size. This mm -hmm. was like extra. He was enormous, huh? Yes. But oh. they're just the happiest dogs. This little. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, golden yesterday was the fluffiest golden I've ever seen. And he was just happy. <laughs> so cute. I love it. Oh, God. My nurse has a Bernese mountain dog, and um, his name is Wesley. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. What a funny dog name. I've not even ever heard that. That's great. Yeah. Aww. So, yeah. That's and he just, he just doesn't really care. You know, it's like, yeah. whatever. But yeah. she also can't take him on a very long walk, you know, because he oh. just loses interest. He's like, <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. And then if the gate gets left open, her, um, she has a husky too named Brandy, and Brandy runs. Oh. And she goes, Wesley will always be at home because he, he's just a homebody. And, yeah. you know, and he'll, he'll watch Brandy run down the street and she, he'll just say, no, too much effort. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. <laughs> well, as long as I have these dogs up on the mountain, I'm not going to have to get my own. So that'll be <laughs> right. Yeah, you've been with that one for a while. I know. And it, it feels weird because I haven't had, I mean, I've had one since I was like 21, 22, mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah. So yeah, but the, these guys are giving me my fix. So that's, yes, that's good. Yes. Yes. Are they all running loose up there or are they on leashes with their, with their hand, their people? They run loose and it's been funny. Cause like they all seem to get along. It's like a little dog park, you know, mm -hmm. but I haven't seen any little squabbles yet. We'll see. You know. Cool. Um, I've had, um, my youngest one is the one I walk because, um, Holly, the older one, she's still a little too anxious. Yeah. Um, but I've been, I've been so thwarted because on my street, I now have three neighbors whose dogs are loose Oh, and you know, they, they seem friendly, but, but Lila gets a little hyper up, hyped up a little bit. And, you know, sometimes that energy can trigger something from the other guys. Right. Um, so then we have these little parks out and they're called Cedar Niles park. And they've mm -hmm. paved a bunch of like probably 11 miles of stuff, mostly for the bikers. Right. Um, and so they have these three different entrances to that paved area. And the one I, that's really closest to my house that I like to go to, 
um, we went one time and there were two enormous deer in the field, which they ran off, but it was enough to freak her out. And so we had to turn around and go back. <laughs> And then the next time there was a coyote in the bushes that I could see because the leaves had fallen off. Right. Right. I'm like, yeah, no, we have to turn around and go back now. So it's like wildlife. It's like my sister says, you're going to have to come into the city to walk your dog now. <laughs> right. Totally. Gosh. Oh, there's Colleen. Yay. That's so fun. Um, yeah, the, the wildlife out here is crazy. Like <laughs> I was walking to my car um, from the mountain the other night. It was like 8.30 at night and it's just so dark. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And there aren't tons of lights. And I'm like, I'm going to get eaten by coyotes. Like I felt like <laughs> they were probably all around me, you know, and you just don't even know what else is out there. I don't really want to know. Yeah. I think if I, was, if I was out by myself, the coyotes wouldn't bother me. But if I have a dog with me, it, then, you know, they yeah. might. And it makes me nervous. It feels better to have a dog with you, though, I think. Yeah. I don't know. I guess coyotes can be brutal. With dogs, yeah. right? They're about the same size, so. Right. And they're wild, so mm -hmm. they're not doing yoga. <laughs> like your dogs. <laughs> right. So, hi, Colleen. How are you? I'm still having trouble getting on. I have to do some weird thing and I forgot how to do it from last time, but I got on. <laughs> I have to get on really early. It's not normal like it used to be. You just press the button and uh, now I have to do something down here in the far right. So I don't know. No. I better work on it. Oh my gosh. I'm getting a new computer in the next day or two. So I, that's the first thing I'm going to have to do is make sure that I can get on. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I figured out what I did is this, this is a new computer and so because I didn't have zoom yeah. you know I didn't even think about that that I hadn't done zoom on, so I think that's the issue so yes mm -hmm. learn from me on all my mistakes <laughs> well you made it so that's all that matters you got here somehow yeah I know it's it was updating a ton for a long time yes, the last time I tried to get on it's like time for an update I'm like no I know, me too. I just <laughs> hear it. <laughs> Philip like yells at me, and then I do it. Oh, goodness. Well, this will be fun. We haven't done Saturday Zoom yoga for a minute, so this is good. How's everybody? Have you guys been practicing a little bit with some flow anywhere else? I completely dropped out on my own. I was doing good, and then I... Okay. So I got to get back into, even if it's just 20 minutes, you know, on my own. Yeah. Okay. I've okay. been trying to do a few extra with that yoga download because I'm going to that retreat and I, yes, right. I feel like I don't want to be a total embarrassment. That's funny. You're Probably, gonna... I'm, I signed up for a yoga retreat in Morocco. <gasps> Isn't that? <gasps> oh, wonderful. So oh that'll be in um, April. That's so oh, that's wonderful. So. Talk to my sister into going with me. <laughs> yes. That's so awesome. I just got the 25 best places you're supposed to go in the world. And one of them was Morocco, which I've never been, but I've had friends that went on a weird rotary scholarship or whatever. So do you have to get extra shots or not? Uh, I'll have to look into it. It's desert. I don't think, I don't think I'll need anything. My, okay, good. my tetanus is yeah. good. And, um, you know, but it's, it's desert, so they shouldn't have mosquitoes, so I shouldn't have to worry about malaria and stuff, but I'll have to look that up. Good. Oh, I, it'll I don't be... need a visa, so that's good. Oh. Just a passport. That's good. Great. Well, would you have to do a visa anywhere? I mean, so, if you're, unless you're, I mean, if you're not working. Um, there's some travel visas that sometimes you have to get. So with, no. when I looked that up for Morocco is, there's a list of I don't know, probably 20 or 30 countries where, who are not required to have a visa. Interesting. Um, and it, it took me a long time and a lot of uh, screens to find that information. It just said <laughs> some countries don't require, you know, are not, it's not required to have a visa for them. And it's like, but it wouldn't tell me which ones. And I finally found the list and we're on the list. So yeah, good. Well, <laughs> that's crazy. 
great news. Yeah. So, yeah. So it'll be great. It's uh, two yoga classes a day and, um, wow. and then they'll take us into town um, at six days. So I think we'll go into town at least once. And I signed up for a cooking class. Oh, wonderful. Ooh, that's going to be fun. Ooh. Oh, this is going to be life-changing. I, I, I hope so. I hope so for the good. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. For sure, for the good. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. And you're there for a week? Yeah. Yeah. And it's at a villa. They call it a villa. Um, about 25 minutes outside of Marrakesh. Okay. Yay. And it's got a spa there and um and a hammam which is like a turkish bath kind of thing Ooh, so. that's fun oh yeah. my god yeah. oh, you're gonna take lots of pictures oh definitely definitely when i think of morocco i just think of super bright colors right uh -huh. yes the, yeah so the brocades and the, the purples and the you know golds and stuff yeah Ooh, that's gonna be so pretty if i can find some fabric there to make some quilts out of <laughs> yes yeah. Wow. I still would love to go with you. It's not, it's in the back of my mind. It might be a last minute thing. <laughs> I, yeah. I to go on this. I, that's what I was thinking. God, that sounds so dreamy. Or maybe you'll have to go and report back and then I'll have to figure it out myself. Yeah. Well, they sent me another email. They have another retreat in Scotland, which also sounds pretty interesting too. It's interesting. Scotland huh. doesn't sound like a very yoga-y place, but you know... <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't, but you never know. You, you know? never know. Yeah, maybe right in the middle of all the land. <laughs> yeah, it's international. It's like soccer. It's yeah, yeah. It's ubiquitous, right? Exactly. Uh, okay. Well, let's do this. Um, we'll take it kind of slow and just hold stuff a little bit longer. Just make sure you're looking at your alignment. Just since we haven't done this for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> just making sure that our poses are are nice form. So get going. I'm fortunate to have this little space in my living room. I can do this. So it's good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and mute you guys. Okay. And we will start on our mats. That should be good. Yeah. All right, let's just start by finding our sit bones, I'm gonna put on my music. This amazing Native American flute music has been inspiring me. All right, so let's go ahead and start with our breath, taking our spine nice and long, close down the eyes, nice deep inhale, and release it out of your mouth. Do that a couple more times. Reconnecting with our breath. Taking our awareness onto our mats, into our bodies, taking it all inside. Take as many cleansing breaths as you need this morning. When you're ready, we can activate the ujjayi breathing. So constrict that little piece in the back of your throat. Starting to warm up our whole bodies, let the shoulders fall heavy. When you're ready, let the chin fall down to the chest. Feel the shoulders to even deepen in with the breath with each exhale. And take your gaze up, keeping your gaze nice and soft. Open up the throat, let the head fall back. The shoulders together, <clears throat> just a little bit. Breathe space into the heart center, breathe space into the throat. And bring the head back to center. Let's let our head just fall to the right. Take it a little deeper by taking the left arm, taking the arm to grab the right inside of that elbow. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Continue your Ujjayi breathing. Let the left side of the neck just lengthen. We're gonna hold here for a couple more breaths. And roll the head down and through. Let's switch sides. With each inhale, lengthen the right side of the neck. And bring it back to center. Let's take the spine long and gaze over the left shoulder. Continue lengthening, pulling up and in on the belly button. Keeping this just a little bit active. And inhale through the center over the right. <clears throat> Getting out all that dryness we were just talking about. <laughs> just steam myself after this also. One more deep breath here. And bring it back to center. Let's take it in some big circles. These purposeful movements. So we're keeping the sit bones on the ground, lengthening the spine, taking the crown up high as we do this. And let's go the opposite way. All right, bring it back to center. Take the arms wide, clasp the fingers, take the palms up and reach long, falling over to the right side. Open up the chest, take your gaze up to the sky and breathe. And bring it through the center, reach long and over. <clears throat> and take it all the way back up, reach long, take the hands all the way down to heart center. Let's take a big, deep belly breath here. Open the mouth, release. Very good. All right, let's go ahead and take the arms wide again, reach up. Exhale, let that right hand slide away. Push the mat away and reach long towards the right fingertips. And inhale, reach up. Exhale, slide and push away to the left. And we're gonna flow a little bit with this. So inhale up, reach long. Exhale, push. Breathe out all of your air. Inhale up. Exhale. Reach long. And a few more times. Just go to the go with the flow of your breath. Go a little bit deeper each time you reach long. And let's do it one more time on each side. And reach up and long. Exhale the hands down through to heart center. One more deep breath here. And release through the mouth. Inhale, take the arms behind you. Clasp your hands, pull the shoulders down and away. You can lift the hands a little bit. You take it deeper. We're going to hold here for a few breaths. Let the chin fall down towards the chest. <clears throat> if this feels good on your neck, if it doesn't, just keep your head neutral. One more breath and go ahead and release the legs wide. 
And we'll start with just a forward fold. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, reach forward. Keep that spine nice and long and then release down. And take a little movement, a little sway back and forth. <clears throat> just releasing the hamstrings, the lower back. In your next breath, walk yourself over to the right side. Let your nose come down to the knee. And just round it down, round the back. Release the breath as you need to. With each exhale, deepen a little bit into that hamstring. Breathe into the lower back. One more breath. And walk the hands back to the center. Let's let ourselves just sway back and forth again. Maybe taking it a little bit deeper, taking the chest towards the floor. When you're ready, walk it over to the left side. Take the nose to the knee, round it down and release. Keep deepening and breathing into the left hamstring. When you're ready, come back to center. We're going to do it one more time, taking a little sway, releasing the forehead closer to the floor. And bring it down to the center, staying neutral around it deeper. We're going to hold here for a few more breaths, just getting these muscles lengthen a little bit longer. When you're ready, go ahead and walk up all the way up. Let's plant the palms behind, fingers forward, open up the chest, let the head fall back. Release your breath here. Take your inhales all the way down to the base of the belly. And bring it back to center. Take the legs together for a snap pose. And we'll do one more forward fold here. And then get on our hands and knees. Let's go ahead and take the arms wide, reach up. Exhale, fold it forward and release. Resetting the whole body, stretching long in the backs of the legs, the lower back. One more breath. Walk the hands all the way up, plant the palms one more time, and open the chest, release the head. And bring it back to center. All right, let's plant our hands and knees. And we're going to go ahead and start with the cat cow. So spread those fingers out. Take nice, big, deep breath. And flow with your breath. Breathing out all the air. When you round it, make sure that you're taking your spine up like if there's a string right in the middle. And let your belly drop if you need to shake your hips. Do that. It's 
take two more rounds. And bring it back to center. Let's take it into balancing cat. So we're gonna start with the right arm and the left leg. Take a nice big deep inhale here. On your exhale, crunch the elbow to the knee. Inhale it up. Exhale, crunch. A few more times. And one more. And hold it up. Breathe, activate the left leg. And bring that right hand and knee down. Let's take in some big circles. So take the hips all the way back. Bring it forward. And bring it back to center. Let's take that on the other side. When you're ready, take that left arm up, right leg back. Big inhale. When you're ready, crunch elbow to the knee. Inhale up. Exhale, crunch. Keep going. And one more. Pull that back up. And breathe. And go ahead and drop the left arm leg. Let's take it in the opposite way, all the way back to the heels. Okay, very good. Let's take the take it back to center. Let's take the hips over to the right, reach long to the left. Release the head down to the mat. Release your breath. Next inhale, bring it up through the center. Take it over to the other side and release. And bring it back to center. Let's take a nice bottom of the foot stretch. Go ahead and sit back onto your heels. Close down the eyes. Take the spine nice and long. Breathe space into the bottoms of the feet. Feel that nice stretch under the toes. When you're ready, take the arms behind, clasp the hands, let's pull the shoulders down and away. Open up the chest and release. One more breath. And bring it back to center. Let the palms find the mat. Tap out the toes. Very good. Let's go ahead and take it into a tiny chaturanga. Knees, chest, chin, roll down and through. Bring it up to a baby cobra. Taking it back and forth. And bring it back to neutral. When you're ready, curl the toes under. Take the hips up for downward facing dog. Let's pull it out here. Taking the tailbone up high, taking the chest towards the legs. When you're ready, we're going to take the right leg up to the sky. Keep the hips parallel. When you're ready, we're going to float it down and through for pigeon on the right. Lengthen the spine. When you're ready, take it all the way down to the mat, releasing the head and hands. Release the breath, bring space into the right hip. Let yourself deepen in by activating the left leg.
And when you're ready, walk it up, picking yourself up to your palms. You're gonna let the right hand slide back and down towards the right foot. Lengthen the spine and look over the right shoulder. One more breath. And take the right hand back to the mat. Take it back up to downward dog. Pedal it out. And when you're ready, take that right leg up to the sky. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, float it through to pigeon on the left. Lengthen the spine. Take it down to the mat and release. On your next breath, plant the palms, curl the toes, take it back to downward face. Oh, wait, go back down there for one second. We got to reverse this. So pick your spine up. Go ahead and let the left arm slide down and away. Lengthen the spine, look over the left shoulder. And breathe. One more deep breath here. Exhale, plant the palm down. Now we'll take it back up to down dog and pedal it out. When you're ready, we're going to walk or jump up to the hands. Inhale, half lift. Pull the spine out of the hips here. Exhale, forward fold. We're just going to hold here for a couple breaths. Yourself just sway back and forth, releasing the crown down towards the mat. On your next inhale, take the arms in front of you. We're going to sit back in the chair pose. Keep those arms right next to the ears, taking the tailbone back towards the back wall. And your next exhale, fold it forward again. Let that hands come underneath the feet. So you're just going to gently take your weight back and forth, massaging out the palms. All right, release the hands, take the arms forward, sit back in the chair pose. On your next exhale, take the hands to heart center. We're going to prayer twist over the left. Open and release your arms if you'd like to. One more breath. Take it back up to chair pose and fold it forward again. Grab the elbows, let yourself just sway back and forth. On your next inhale, arms come forward, sit back in the chair pose. On your exhale, prayer twist over the right. You're ready, inhale the arms back to prayer or back to his chair pose. Exhale, one more forward fold. Mm 
On your next inhale, take the arms wide into reverse swan. Exhale the hands down to heart center. We're gonna take mountain pose and then take a few sun salutations. So as we're here, take the arms out, palms are forward. Check your bandhas. <coughs> Lengthen the crown. Let's take a few releasing breaths. Inhale, the arms wide, reach all the way up. Exhale, forward fold, swan dive forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the palms, sit back to plank. We're gonna hold this for a couple breaths. When you're ready, knees, chest, chin, chaturanga down. Bring it up to a full cobra. Let's just take a couple breaths here. Take the hips back and forth. Inhale it up through plank. Take it back to downward dog. Let's pedal the out. Inhale that right leg up. And your next exhale, we're going to float it through for crescent lunge on the right. Check your alignment. Make sure your hips are squared forward. On your next exhale, take it down to warrior two. Make sure that knee is not over the right ankle. Square the hips forward, take it deeper. Shoulders are down. <coughs> One more breath. And take it up to reverse warrior. We're gonna hold this for a few breaths. And when you're ready, take that right elbow down to the right knee. Extend the left arm and breathe. Make sure your spine is in alignment. That left arm is right by the left ear. And take it back to warrior two. When you're ready, windmill the arms. Let's plant the palms, sit back to plank. Hold for two breaths. When you're ready, take it through your vinyasa. And I will meet you on down dog. Pedal it out. You can bounce a little bit if that feels good. Very good. I'm gonna look around here. Let's take that left leg up to the sky. On your exhale, float it through for crescent lunge. Beautiful. Check your alignment. When you're ready, drop it to warrior two. Lengthen the spine. So we're tucking the chin, taking the crown up. <clears throat> Inhale, take it to reverse and hold. And drop the left arm down, take it to extended side angle. Breathe. It's so good for all of us. <laughs> Let's get back into the flow. One more breath, and take it back to warrior two. Gonna hold here for a couple breaths. And when you're ready, windmill the arms, plant the palms, take it back to plank. Hold for two breaths for strength. And take it through your vinyasa. All right, once 
turn down dog. We're going to hold here for a couple breaths. And then pedal it out, releasing all that energy. When you're ready, walk it or jump it up to the hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms go wide. And take it to heart center. Beautiful job. Let's do that again. <coughs> Excuse me, gosh. Okay. Let's take it to mount and we're going to take a few releasing breaths. So take the hands forward, lengthen the spine, inhale all the way to the base, and release your breath. Do that two more times. And your next inhale, take the arms wide, reach all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step back to foot. Hold for two breaths. Check your alignment. And your exhale, knees, chest, chin, roll it down and through the up dog or cobra. Take it up through plank and downward facing dog. Out. Take your focus back to your breath. And your next inhale, take the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, float it down and through the crescent lunge. And your exhale, drop it to warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, back to warrior two. Very good. We're gonna straighten that front leg. Take the body forward and open up to triangle pose. You can take your gaze up to the sky. And inhale it back to warrior two. When you're ready, windmill the arms, plant the palms, sit back to plank. On your exhale, take it through your vinyasa. And I'll meet you in downward facing dog. Very good. I'm going to take this to the other side. So when you're ready, take that left leg up to the sky. And your next exhale, float it through for crescent lunge. And when you're ready, drop it to warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Very good. Inhale back to warrior two. Straighten that front leg. Take it forward to triangle pose. One more breath. Take it back to warrior two. And windmill the arms, plant the palms, set back to plank. On your next exhale, take it down through your vinyasa. And I'll meet you in downward facing dog. Very good. All right, when you're ready, walk it or jump it up to your hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms go wide, reach all the way up. And exhale, the hands to heart center. Beautiful job. Let's check our time. Okay, good. Let's do one more sun salutation. Let's find the tops of the mats. Take it to mountain. Let's take a releasing breath. Let's take two more. Inhale, take the arms wide, reach all the way up. 
Exhale, swan dive forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step back to plank. When you're ready, take your vinyasa all the way through. Bring it up to downward facing dog. Go ahead and pedal it out. When you're ready, inhale that right leg up. Open up for three-legged dog. And when you're ready, go ahead and float it through to crescent lunge. And we're going to drop the back heel for warrior one. So you're going to have that foot about 45 degrees. Square the hips, take the hips lower. One more breath. And we're going to just shift it forward for warrior three. Keep that left leg nice and active, ankles active. Arms are reaching back. And when you're ready, let's open it up to half moon. So take that hand down to the mat or to a block. And hold one more breath. And square the hips, take that left leg back down. We're gonna step back to warrior one. And drop it to warrior two. Yay, good job. All right, hold here for a breath. And when melt the arms, plant the palms, set back to plank. Take it through your vinyasa. And back up to downward facing dog. Let's go ahead and bounce it out. And we're gonna take it to the other side. So when you're ready, take the left leg up to the sky. Exhale it to press it. Drop that right heel. Deepen in. When you're ready, shift it forward to warrior three. And open up to half moon. Whenever you're ready. Good job, one more breath. And square your hips back to the mat. Step back to warrior one. And drop it to warrior two. Beautiful job. <laughs> When you're ready, windmill the arms, plant the palms, sit back to plank. Take it through your vinyasa, then we'll meet you up in your dog. I'm going to hold here for a couple breaths. When you're ready, walk it or jump to the hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse one. And exhale, bring it down to heart center. Good job. Grab a drink. Nice work. We're going to take it down to Malasana and back up to star. Let's see if I can get the hat to do a little better. Okay. Let's go ahead and take it down. So you're going to take your feet a little bit further than hip width. Open up the hips with the elbows. Take a couple deep breaths here. Bring it all the way down to the base of the belly. Very good. All right, we're going to inhale it all the way up, reaching long, and exhale it back down. 
Hold here for a couple. Good job. You know, it's a lot of balance. And let's inhale it back up. <laughs> And take it back down. Kind of your own pace. Very good. We're just going to do it one more time. So inhale all the way up. Exhale, bring it back down. Do Pachamama. Mother Earth. Good job. We kind of ease back in there a little bit. Very good. Let's take the hands down to the mat and we're just going to take our hips up and take it back and forth. Let the head fall towards the mat. Elbow is high. <clears throat> Very good. Let's take it back down to Malasana one more time. Nope, don't be cursing me over there on the other side. <laughs> there you go. Good job. One more breath. And take the hips down. Let's take the feet down. Take the knees back and forth. Good job. Very nice. That felt easy to do if you guys can. So bad. All right, let's take the feet together for a better fly. And find your big toes, take the spine nice and tall, big inhale. Exhale, let's hold it forward and release down. Let your head just kind of go back and forth. Adding a little movement. And roll it up. Let's take the right leg out. Take the left sole of the foot inside the right leg. And go ahead and turn towards the right toes. Take the arms wide, reach up. Exhale, forward fold over the right leg. And release that nose to the knee. Going to be here for just a couple more breaths. All right, go ahead and roll it all the way up. Let's take that right leg in, extend the left leg out, turn towards the left foot, arms go wide. Exhale, fold over that left knee. Breathe space into the left hamstring. Release the lower back. Let your breath deepen. One more deep breath here. And roll it all the way back up. Let's take it into Bowing blood butterfly one more time. Go ahead and flutter it out. Take the spine nice and long. Exhale, fold forward and release. Let yourself just round even deeper. And roll it all the way up. Our feet are, they should be together. Let's open up the feet, kind of like you're opening up a book. And just take your thumbs, pushing them through the midline of the foot, all the way down to the heel, and all the way back up. Very nice. Just that one more time. All right. 
Okay, bring the knees together. Let's, we're gonna do a few um, spinal rolls. And so we're gonna balance in between and land in boat after the third one. So go ahead and massage out your back with these rolls. And on your third one, find your boat. If you wanna have your legs extended, you can have your legs bent. Arms out. Breathe into that belly. When you're ready, go ahead and take the hands to the legs, slowly roll it down, take the knees to the chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. Very good. We're gonna extend the legs straight up. Take the hands so the palms are down on either side of the tailbone. We're gonna activate the ankles and we're gonna alternate dropping those heels. So we'll start with the left, exhale it down, touch or tap the heel, bring it back up. Exhale the right one down, inhale up and keep alternating back and forth. Nice slow controlled movements. Activating the core. And strength. And keep going. And just one more time on each side. And go ahead and lower the feet all the way down, the soles of the feet onto the mat, release the hands. Take the arms out to your sides. Let's take it up into a bridge pose. Walk the heels in, lift up the hips, clasp the hands, lift the hips higher, move the thighs towards each other. Take nice deep breaths here. Lift the hips a little bit higher. And unclasp the hands, let the arms go to your sides, release all the way down, bring the knees to the chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. Very nice. Let's go ahead and lower both feet back down. Let's take it to recline pigeon. We'll cross left over right, bring the legs up, activate the ankles, breathe space into the left hip. Release even deeper with your exhale. Continue breathing into the hip till you feel it deepen. One more breath. And bring both legs down to the mat. Let the knees go back and forth. And let's take it to the other side, cross from right over left. And let your arms clasp behind, just letting the pose do its work. Release your breath. Magic on us. 
All right, we'll sit the feet back down to the mat, take the knees back and forth. Extend the arms wide, palms are down, let's let our legs just fall over to the left. Extend the lengthen the spine, release over the right shoulder. Let yourself deepen in here, close down the eyes. Release the breath. Inhale the legs through, take it over to the right side. Extend the spine and release. Back to center, give yourself a big hug. Roll it back and forth a little bit, massage out the lower back. And take the feet together, soles of feet together, all the way to the mat. Open up for recline butterfly. Cactus arms. Take a big, deep belly breath. Open the mouth, release. Let yourself just fall closer to the mat. One more breath. And extend the legs all the way to the end of the mat. Take the elbows in. We're going to push up into a fish pose. So, so we want to activate the legs, pointing the toes away. Take the chest up, let the head fall back towards the mat and breathe, opening up the heart center. Release the breath. One more deep breath. And lower all the way back down. Take the knees to the chest. One more big hug. And when you're ready, go ahead and extend the legs long. We'll prepare for final relaxation. Or Shavasana. And we'll start with our breath, just taking a nice, deep, full body breath. And as you exhale and open your mouth to release, I want you just to let your arms and legs fall deeper to the mat. And let's do that again, taking it in through the nose. We're gonna just clench up our fists, clench our face, activate every muscle you possibly can. Take it even a little bit deeper. And go ahead, open the mouth, release your breath, release your body. Let yourself just deepen in with the breath. Being connected to the breath. Releasing all thoughts. Letting yourself take this time just to restore your body after moving all that energy. And I'll let you know when it's time to come up.
Start wiggling the curves and toes, deepening the breath. Bring your awareness back into your space, the mat, to your bodies. When you're ready, you can roll to one side. And join me in easy seated pose on your mat. All right, yay. Okay, find the sit bones. Keep your gaze nice and soft. Just find your knees with your hands. Keeping that energy we just created and moved through our bodies. Just feeling it. Starting with the crown of our head all the way to the tailbone. Let's take a big deep breath in through the nose. And release through your mouth. Let's do one more of those. All right, take the arms wide, reach all the way up. Gather all that yummy energy, bring it down through to the heart center, keeping the heart, the hands at the heart. Let's take a big breath in and out of the nose. Renewing that whole energy system in our bodies with our breath. All right, thank you ladies for practicing today. The divine light in me, Susan honors the divine light in you. Namaste. All right, go about your Saturdays. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you on Tuesday. All right, bye ladies.